Hey guys, Captain Taylor here at SaltyScales.com. Today we're out at the Sunshine Skyway Fishing Pier. Uh, what I want to show you how to do is set up a, a rig for snapper fishing. It's a simple slip sinker rig, but it's extremely effective, especially in this 8 to 12 foot water range that we're going to be fishing today. So come along and hopefully you'll learn something and have fun doing it. Alright guys, so the gear that I'm going to be using, or the tackle I'm going to be using today, uh, the weight is going to range from a quarter ounce uh, sinker, a quarter to a half ounce sinker with a number one or one uh, circle hook, which you'll see here. I prefer a Gamagatsu or an owner. Um, and then a 75 pound to 100 pound uh, rated swivel. And I'll top that off with about two to three feet of 20 to 30 pound test uh, monofilament leader. So that's what I'm going to start out with. I'm going to start off with the 20 pound and work my way up to 30 pound depending on the bite. All right, guys, so I got my lead sinker here. What you do is you take your main line, which, by the way, this is a 15-pound uh, braid. All right, you put your lead on. Take your 75, 100-pound swivel, 100-pound class swivel. Put that through the eye. All right, the, the important part with braid, guys, and swivels, you want to go back through the swivel a second time. So I'm wrapping it again through the swivel. And the reason that's important is to avoid slippage. Now, I just do a fundamental cinch knot. Cinch it down, trim your tag. By the way, these are T-Rain pliers, guys. You can get them on Amazon for like 50 bucks. Very good investment. All right, so now you take your leader. You have your, your, your main line with your swivel. You take your leader and tie it to the other side using a cinch knot. Now you don't have to loop it through the swivel twice. So you see here, put it through the, the hole you just made and back through this hole. Use a little saliva and then cinch it down just like so. And the reason you don't have to double it through the swivel like you do with braid is because it doesn't slip like the braid does. All right, lastly, guys, is you want to tie on your hook. And again, this is a one or one uh, circle hook. Uh, preference, of course, is your choice, but I like uh, Gamagatsu and Owner. So you can do this with a, uh, the same cinch knot that you, you tie the swivel on if you prefer, or you could do a, a loop knot or something like that if you plan to use live bait. But for this instance, we're gonna be using mainly cut bait, so the loop knot isn't as important. So you just cinch that down, and I'll show you here what we got. Trim your tag. So you got your hook, goes to two, two and a half foot, 20 pound leader, to your swivel, and then of course, your egg sinker. Let me show you. All right guys, so that's it. That's all there is to the sliding sinker rig for the snapper fishing or the bottom fishing. So let's go ahead and catch a few snappers. 